Hello, Steve Barcello, Cryptozoology Paranormal Museum. Sitting in a parking lot in Littleton, North Carolina. Almost four o'clock, I guess. I've uh, been running, doing errands for uh, the town. and Not much for the museum, unfortunately. Uh, you can see uh, it's cold out. I don't think you see any snow in the shot. Most of it's melted today. We had some snow in town. Uh, it's cold and miserable and uh, not as bad as my folks up north are getting. People up there are getting, you know, literally two plus feet of snow. But for us, it shuts us down here. Uh, it makes it difficult for me to get out and do any uh, research in the parks. Definitely not camping in this weather. I'm too much of a pansy for that. We're planning on getting out. We've uh, got some dates set up. Matter of fact, some of the guys are planning on hitting the, uh, I can't think of the name of the park off the top of my head now, down by uh, Durham. And uh, I think they're planning on going Thursday. Uh, I probably won't be able to make it. I've got too much other stuff going on. I'm still battling the uh, heating system in the uh, museum and the house. We're getting there. Hopefully by next week uh, when the units come in, I get those in. We'll be able to officially uh, do what we used to do and travel and do things like that. But, uh, I just want to shoot a little video. As you can see, that's Daphne's Coffee Shop right across the way. Amazing coffee shop, brand new to town. Uh, there's going to be a wine shop in there soon. It's already got wine in it. We're just waiting for them to open. I'm not sure exactly which day. Should be within the week. And then, unfortunately, it's going to be at least a month or so before the restaurant and bar open, which you know, we're all excited about. But uh, a lot of things happening in town. The building next door, you can see with the stripped-off uh, fascia, uh, that's the old Roses department store. Uh, that's, I believe, is still going to be the hotel. So we're excited about having that boutique hotel in town. But uh, a lot of things happening in town. Uh, Lakeland Theater, of course, and uh, a lot of other things. Just the town is booming. It's uh, really going there. I, I, I spent all day dealing with people coming into uh, looking for other projects as far as uh, homes, and apartments, things like that they want to bring in here. Because the town's booming so much now, we need additional housing and, uh, and parking we're going to need. Another issue. Which are good problems to have when your town's booming in the middle of a pandemic. So, But uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys and say I apologize for not getting out for more videos. But it's just been, everything's been working like good for the you know what's going on in town here. Uh, the museum's been very slow. Matter of fact, I just haven't even been opening up the last couple of days. It's been so crazy. And uh, with everything else, it's so... I mean, the weather's been so terrible. Uh, we'll be back open, kind of doing our regular hours, uh, our regular pandemic hours, which are Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 1 to 6. So we've got some new stuff in. I got some recorders in. I got some K2 meters in. I've gotten uh, more hoodies in. And I know there's stuff I'm forgetting. I can't even think off the top of my head. But uh, I got with shirts are okay stocked on, but I've got more of those coming through. And uh, for the life of me, I can't think what else we got in. But... We got some, uh, we're st slowly but surely restocking the place. Oh, I got mugs ordered too. So slightly different design on the orange mug that was the most popular mug we've ever gotten. I ordered orange, bright orange in, like a traffic cone with our uh, logo on it. And uh, everyone loved them. We ended up getting, uh, we ordering, uh, doing multiple orders of them. So I ordered the orange mugs in again with a or more modern logo on this, the one with the UFO and beaming up Bigfoot. So it says Believe and stuff. I think they're gonna be a real popular seller too. Uh, right now, not much. I'm hoping, I was planning on trying to get out tonight and do a paranormal investigation either back at the museum or even try to hit the dollhouse, which would be freezing cold. So I'm kind of not looking forward to that. But uh, right now, I just figured to shoot a little video saying hello and talking to you guys. Uh, I would love to do something live again, if possible. So if I could uh, pull that off, I, you know, we don't get enough live stuff going. Matter of fact, the internet in town here, we've uh, the same uh, Fitz Foundation who's been doing a lot of work in town stuff, gave us free Wi-Fi downtown and it's super quick. Uh, but doing a live version of this seems kind of silly, but I guess I could do it anyway. It's something to try. Uh, not much else is going on. Like I said, I, I really need to get on the road for multiple reasons, for the video, for you guys. Uh, hit some different locations, and just for my sanity to get the heck out of town here. But uh, a, lot, a lot of nuttiness going on. But uh, we've had uh, some phone calls. We've gotten some uh, new sightings coming through. But uh, we'll have to see what happens, what goes on as far as us getting out there. Uh, 
the COVID is unfortunately still around. The numbers are all over the place. You know, one day they're up, one day they're down. So, you know, we still haven't decided to uh, say to hell with it and just, you know, go full bore. Uh, our Paracon, April 24th, we're still heading for that date. This is the third date we've had. And uh, I'm getting reached out to by everybody who wants to come. Like, is it still going to happen? Yes, our plan is for it to happen. And, we, you know, we're not saying no. The only way it's not going to happen is if, you know, you know, we're told by the governor we can't do it. So basically that's where it's at at this point. And I can't even tell you the location. I have three different spots to pick from. Uh, but at this point, I mean, it's so crazy. Uh, you know, no one else is doing events. I don't think I'm going to have a problem getting a spot if I need to. But once it gets down to the wire within, you know, last... Uh, three, four weeks, then I'll we'll say to, we'll, we'll announce a spot. And at that point, hopefully know if it's going to happen or not. And, uh, but uh, our plan is yes. I mean, so if anyone, you know, you're, you're, we're getting questions on it. And, you know, how many times can I just shrug my shoulders and go, I don't know. I mean, I thought the first one was going to happen. Then I thought the second one was going to happen. So, I mean, it's, uh, we're living in a different world here. Uh, beyond that, uh, like I said, there's not a heck of a lot going on. I'm busy sitting in the parking lot here doing town work and taking advantage of the free internet and at least getting the heck out of the house for a little while where I'm basically watching a water levels on a boiler and stoking a fireplace. Uh, although the dogs are loving it. They think it's great that I'm home nonstop and sleeping on the couch downstairs so I can maintain everything. They think it's a big camp out. But, uh, yeah, but like I said, uh, not a heck of a lot else going on. Uh, just wanted to reach out to you guys. If you guys have any ideas... Uh, if you can think of places you'd like to see me go within the next week or two, uh, I would love to get over uh, someplace we can do. We can talk about doing something with UFOs, some of these UFO sightings. And uh, most of the ones we've gotten in the immediate area, uh, the more recent ones, are really been by the shore, Wilmington area, a place like that, uh, which, you know, would be awful cold, miserable to be there. But, hey, if I can get the interviews, if I can get a couple of people to tell me what they saw, and then we can set up some night uh, surveillance equipment and see if we pick up anything weird in disguise and stuff. That'd be really cool. That'd be a fun piece to do. But if not, if that's not doable, I've got the options of going back out to uh, up in the mountains again, see what's going on there, assuming it's not snowing. And uh, if not, you know, there's a lot of more, uh, we've got a lot of new hotels, these creepy motel rooms and hotel rooms that have uh, paranormal uh, activity and that people have asked us to come to. And uh, nice thing about that, but some of the hotels, the internet's good enough. We can go live, so you can kind of ghost hunt with us and tell us what you see in the background. So that might be the more logical thing to do if nothing else pans out. That's relatively easy. And some of the locations we're getting aren't much more than a eight-hour trip. It's doable. Drive out, set up the equipment, do a, you know, a two-, three-hour investigation. And then, of course, when we stop going live with you, we still investigate beyond that we still like even if I'm crashing out in the room I'll still leave equipment running during the night and see what we pick up the next day but uh that's about it just kind of bringing you up to speed and uh I know this talking head stuff kind of gets silly after a while but uh it's just difficult for me to get out right now but thanks for supporting us uh we appreciate it uh we're setting up some new stuff on the YouTube page which I'm not really sure about this other thing about setting up where you can like buy levels for you know exclusive stuff which nothing's launched yet i don't know if it's anything we really need to do but if you see anything weird like that come up we're just experimenting with things it's more out of boredom now than anything else uh but we'll see what we can do with that sort of thing uh, you know just trying to think, do things outside the box the uh, podcast i know i keep on saying i'm going to get it going but i've just been everything else has been going on we'll probably do a couple of other short podcast uh, experiments and i'll of course repost them on youtube too uh, so we'll can see what we can get going there. But thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Talk to you soon. Uh, please make any comments down below, anything you'd like to see us do. I hope everyone out there is safe. Anything we can do for any of you, please let us know. And uh, wish you all the best. We really appreciate you guys watching and supporting. Talk to you soon.